Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. It's a beautiful, sunny morning in the zone. A little bit overcast, but it's pretty nonetheless. So my current mission is to return the artifact to Sakharov, so I can repair my PDA. Now unfortunately, he is at Lake Yantar, which is a little bit tricky to get to with a car. Because this is the closest and easiest way to get to it, of course, but uh, I don't think I can drive the car through all this crap onto the train tracks. I could try. But I'm pretty sure you can't, so I'm pr if I want to take my car, which I do, I'm probably going to want to go to the army warehouses up here, then drive to the dead city to the left, and then drive down to Lake Yantar. But nonetheless, I am curious if I can actually get the car to get here, so let me try that. Let's... <laughs> Let's give it a shot. We'll see how this goes. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to try third person when in a vehicle. So, let's give it a shot here. It should make it easier to see when my tires are going to hit something. Let's try not to explode. Yeah, that... that... no, that's not going to work. You might be able to do it. I mean, you could possibly drive over this stuff, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Backing it up. Alright, we are going around. It's okay, though. It's fun to drive the car. Should be able to do it pretty fast. And fun stuff always happens along the way. Let's go. In fact, that looks like a fun thing right there. I'm going to save my game and uh, let's see what happens when I drive through that anomaly. Oh yeah, we're going up. Woohoo! Going to space. Um, am I going to come down back to Earth anytime soon? Uh, okay, it's fine. Let's do it again! Oh god, am I gonna be inside it when it explodes? Oh no! Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> it's so fun! What the hell was that noise? It sounded like someone's tires skidding. But I don't think it was mine. Those are fun to drive through. I want to drive through one where you have, like, a huge stretch of road in front of you so you can get up, like, tons of speed. I, I seriously want to go to space. Like, I just want to take off and leave the zone. Alright, so where are we going? Follow the road. I could go off-road, but that's probably a bad idea follow the road and then take a left. Okay. It's so fun just to drive a car. Wacky and weird, but fun. Slow down. Okay. Go around that. It's a little bit hard to see. The shadows being cast by the sun are very, very dark. It's been a while since I've been in the dead city. I wonder if those bodies are still there. <gasps> if the bodies from all the, uh, what were they, the monolith? If they're still there, I could loot them. And shove them in my car. That sounds like fun. Oh, is that one? Hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hold on. 
Let's get some speed for this one. Alright, hold on. Let me... Save my game first. Here we go. Pedal to the metal, we're going to the sky. Or maybe... That's it? That was lame. Let's try that again. Also, I swear that... Oh, I didn't mean to touch that. I swear that flesh literally came out of the ground. Uh... Skip, 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 what? What the hell? I really don't appreciate that. Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Oh, I forgot to come up with a better name for this vehicle than Polygonal Catastrophe. How about Janine? Nah. Come on. Gotta rock it back and forth. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. It's all in the hips. You know, those fleshes kind of look like head crabs, don't they? I think it's their feet. All right, let's try this again. Oh, what the f Oh, I'm out of gas. <sighs> I'm afraid it is not to be. I think I'm gonna have to find greener pastures, greener anomalies, or something. Oh yeah, I do it here. Refuel. Did my game just crash? No, it didn't. It just took like a full second to process the fact that I refueled my vehicle for some reason. It's a hard calculation, to be fair. Requires all four cores. Alright, uh, let's try it one more time. I just need to make sure I'm not aiming at the building so that I won't hit it. So let's go right, like, to the middle of the road. What the fuck? <laughs> it like embedded me in the anomaly and then just blew up. <laughs> oh, stalker. I love you. Alright, yet another try. Here we go. Come on. Alright, come on. Don't explode. Don't. There we go. There we go. Yes! We are going to space! Come on, keep going. Oh, Damn it. Let's try this one. Come on. Take me over that vehicle. Yes! Yes! Yes, it worked! Holy shit! Yes! Oh god, this isn't going to be good. Oh no, it's fine. Come on. Come on. <sighs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Go ahead and repair you. And let's refuel you again. And as it turns out, that is actually not the way I need to go, but who cares? <laughs> that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that's where I need to go. Where does this go? To the swamps. Yeah, let's not go there. Can I actually take my vehicle here? Into the water? Eh, why not? My engine just stalled for some reason. Because I touched a bush. 
I think I need a new fuel filter. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh no, please don't blow up. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. As long as you're not, like, right at the base of the anomaly when it explodes, you'll be fine. I'm hearing phantom tire screeches. Alright, let's actually avoid these. I do want to get to my destination at some point and not spend the entire episode shooting up into the air. Wait a minute, is that? Oh, never mind. Hold on. We're going to spend the entire episode shooting up into the air. This is perfect. This is perfect. Once again, save it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not sure how much speed I can get. Probably not much. Nah, not forget at off-roading, but hopefully we go, we fly high. Come on. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. This thing is so slow in water. It's like molasses. Sweet, it even gave me the prompt to move levels. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it. I wonder if they actually specifically designed it to work with cars, or whether it just kind of was something they didn't consider. And it's completely up to the user to hope that the pathway works for a car. I don't know. Okay, where am I? Alright. Almost there, that wasn't too bad. And if I didn't go shooting up into the air and play with the anomalies, I could have actually been there within five, ten minutes. Let's just not fall into that rift there, because I don't think I'd be able to get out of it. How the fuck? I guess... Yeah, let's go across this. It's an itty bitty bridge. It's so cute. It's a baby bridge. Oh, 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 oh no. Calm, calm down. Shit. Uh. Actually, I might be stuck here, because I think the fact that I'm touching this pipe is making this not work. Yeah, the wheel thing isn't working anymore. Wait, 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 maybe? No, shit. What if I actually go forwards or backwards? Does that do anything? Man, owning a car is hard. It's hard work. I don't even think I can get outside. I can't even leave. Okay, I'm getting some rocking action. Rocking back and forth. I can work with that, maybe. I don't think this is going anywhere. Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Maybe eventually, but I don't really have the patience. Whoa. Let's move. Oh god, please don't fall down. Please, please don't fall down into the pit. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's kind of ironic that a jeep is so bad at off-roading. I mean, you think if anything was good at off-roading, it'd be a jeep. Let's not touch the anon -an -an anomalies. I'm good on those for now. Uh, okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Oh, another bridge. Yeah, the more I drive these routes, the more I drive these routes, the more familiar I'll get with them, and the quicker they'll be.
Some serious radiation. I'm fine. Hey guys, you jelly of my car? Wish you had one of these sweet rides, huh? Of course you do. I'm such a nice guy, I'm just gonna park it right here. Perfect. I'm just gonna leave the door open, too. Don't you fucking get inside of my car. I'll know. Even if you just sit in the seat for a second, I will know. Let me just make sure this isn't a drivable APC, too. No, because I think you can buy one. But uh, yeah, if they don't have physics, like if you touch it and it doesn't move, I'm pretty sure that means it's not drivable. For it is nothing but a static object. Oh, here's my new second generation night vision device, by the way, that I got when I upgraded my suit from... Petrenko, or whatever his name is. So it's not green anymore, it's more like a... slight purple. It's definitely better than the default night vision, but it's not amazing. Let me turn off this annoying thing. Hi. <laughs> One of the options is, are you sure my PDA is broken? I'm getting bored. Entertain me, Professor Zakharov. Wait, where's the... I, I guess I have to press that, actually? Uh, I guess so. Do you have the circuit boards for me? Yes, here they are. Okay, good. We can begin repairs on the PDA. Did, do did Doc mention to you that we need a crystal artifact, too? <laughs> yeah. Feels like I've been to hell and back trying to find it. Excellent. Now I have the last piece of the puzzle to repair your PDA. Ooh, this is a nice crystal. It'll take a little while. Why don't you go and talk to... Kruglov in the shed while you're waiting? He could use some company. I'll have it fixed up when you return. Alright, see you shortly. By the way, do you... Oh, he does now sell the artifact merger. Yes. Because he was selling it, and then he stopped, and now he's selling it again. And I really wanted it because I bought a recipe. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy it. 40,000 buckaroos. Boom. No idea how to use it, and no idea how useful the merged artifacts are, but I'm gonna try it. Got a bit of spending money. Trades have been favorable lately. Use. Okay, that's what I figured, yeah. Because I bought the recipe, but I didn't actually see the recipe as like an inventory item, so I was figuring it was just kind of added to the device when you go to use it, and it looks like it is. Electra. Hmm. <laughs> the mere reactions from being manipulated in testing are, by Newton's laws, impossible. But hey, this is the zone. Takes one hour, okay. Three dog tail. Is that an artifact, or is that literally a dog's tail? Successful transmutation, 65%. Failure, 35%. Artifacts worn out, 0%. Huh. Artifacts worn out, 0%. So does that mean if it fails, but the artifacts are not worn out, then you get the items back? Hmm. Does it even say what the hell it makes? Like, what, what does this make? I mean, I know it makes something called Electra, but what does Electra do? Weird. Let's buy some more recipes. Actually, I don't think I can. No, no. Gotta wait for him to finish with my PDA. He's too busy. Alright, shed man.
So, you've gotten acquainted with Sakharov. Good. Now you won't get funny looks from the others. What do you do here? A bit of this and a lot of that. I manage expeditions and oversee field tests from time to time. Tell you what. I'll tell you more later when you're not so busy with the professor. It, it, seriously? He says, I'm busy here, go talk to this dude. I talk to that dude, and he's like, you seem busy with the other dude that told you he was too busy that to go somewhere else, and then you go back. What? Okay. I think these guys are taking the piss. I think they're taking all the piss. And putting it in a jar, for some reason, because they're weird. Well, Marked One, we've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that you're going to die in two days from cancer. The good news... Oh wait, no, the bad news is that the PDA itself was not repairable. Oh. The dam- Oh shit. Something's going on with duty. Um, anyway. The damage inflicted on the internal components was too great. The good news is that we were able to recover all missing functions and some tidbits of data that was on it. I've loaded it onto this new module for you. Thank you. Don't be a stranger. You're welcome here anytime, stalker. We might have work for you if you ever need a little cash. Okay, hold on, what's going on? Offer assistance to duty at the bar. Okay, well, if I take this entrance to the bar, I'm going to come out on the other end of the place where I can't go through with my car, so I'm going to have to go back the way I came. And what did he say? Did he say military? Wait, where is it? Where's the message? Uh, it doesn't seem to show up. Anyway. Well, I don't think I'm time pressured on that one. So, let's take a look at this stuff. Recover things. Ghost profile. Ghost is widely considered to be one of the zone's best hitmen. Hitman. He's a hitman. <laughs> Hitman. He can stalk his targets for days on end in severe weather conditions and always does the deed with a tailored knife left in the poor soul's trachea. People say he was once a merc, but got fed up and became a lone bounty hunter. Once, he was severely injured, but was brought to the doctor by Strelok himself. Ghost gained an intense loyalty for Strelok afterwards. Feng. Feng's a bespectacled brainiac with impressive mechanical skills. He tends to mumble to himself on occasion. However, despite sounding meek at first, he compensates with an exoskeleton he assembled by himself from spare parts. It's said he was seen with him, uh, with, with Doctor not so long ago, and it's likely he knows something about Strelok. Doc. Known simply as the Doctor, he's an old hermit that lives in the swamps with his tamed pseudo-dog. It is said that if there is an incurable disease in the world, he knows how to cure it, using the unique flora and fauna available in the zone. There are records among the traders that show that months ago, he was searching among death trucks for someone called Strelok. The result of that scavenging is unknown. And what is this? Oh, of course, that's the data file, data file for myself. Missing data, file corrupt. By the way, I am moving up in the world. I am now the, num the number 349th best stalker. Oh yeah. I like how these two people are using the same image, but just it's slightly differently colored. <laughs> I think that person's an impersonator. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna copy this picture from this badass person wearing an exoskeleton suit, and I'm gonna take it to Photoshop and color it a little bit red, and then they're never gonna know it's the same person. It's genius, yeah. Idiot probably hacked and faked his own stalker rankings anyway. Right, what the hell am I doing? I mean, I'm supposed to go to the bar, but let's see if he's got any jobs. Whoa! Okay, um... I don't really want to give him artifacts because I want to keep them. So let's do the kill, kill the radar zombies. This guy there stops us from exploring the undergrounds of the base. Is that the zombies down where the bloodsuckers were? Alright, I'll do it. And let's get some artifacts. Uh, recipes. 
I don't know what these do. I have no idea what these do. I? <laughs> don't leave this uncovered at night. Freaking scary this one is. Alright, I'll take it. Let's get one more. Let's get... Glass. Okay, how much money does that leave me with? 26,000? Eh, let's get a couple more. Compass. Let's get one more. Okay. Okay, so does this guy want to talk to me now? Okay, well, you said you would tell me what it is that you do here. Like I said, I'm a sort of manager and assistant for the ecologist operation in Yantar. But mainly I'm known around here for training wild dogs. There's no German Shepherds. Uh, they're no German Shepherds, but they do one heck of a job. Can I own a dog? No way, right? No. Interesting. It must be time-consuming, though. Well, yeah. It keeps me busy, but I'm using it as a base for cognitive research on the breeds of dogs in the zone. Would you be interested in buying one of my trained dogs? Y yes, I would, but I can't. I, I can't buy a dog. Why can't I buy a dog? It just says, would you be interested in buying one of my trained dogs? And it's like, huh, cool, see you around, bye. What the hell? Uh, and now he has a task for me? Okay. What is it? A very famous composer lived in the forest not far from the bar. He has long passed, but it is rumored that there could still be some of his music sheets lying around his house. Please go and check for me and I'll give you a just reward. Holy shit, that's so cool! He wants me to go to the forest to find a composer's lost works? That is such a cool quest! That's so much more interesting than just, like, go here and kill five zombies. And it's a place I've never been to, either. That is very, very cool. Alright, what do you sell, by the way? Nothing. Oh, man, I can't wait to check that out. I left the lights on. Did you get in my car? I could smell it on you if you did. <laughs> okay. You're clean. <laughs> it just says, find something for Kruglov. Just find something. Can I bring him a rock? Maybe he's not picky. Alright, radar zombies. Uh, where was the entrance? I'm not quite sure. Oh, hi. Wonder if there's any more around here. Oh, there we go. Switch back to normal rounds. Let's go with automatic. Yeah, automatic fire. I think I need to go underground though, right? That's one hell of a tree. Oh no, no, I don't think I do need to go underground. Actually, let's go single shot. 
Uh, yeah, they're not fast. I might as well conserve ammo. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Is that a hand? Excellent. Sell that for a little bit of money. Did I miss a hand? I did. There we go. I am quite curious why these zombies only have one hand. Shouldn't they have two? Ouch. Hold on, by the way. Let me take all these artifacts out. And let's see if I can actually make any of the recipes. Because I have a bunch of artifacts. Alright, let's see. Wow, I don't have any of these for this one. Don't have the dog tails. Sauron's eye. Whoa, this one requires hands of a zombie. Which I just got. I actually have everything for that. <laughs> what is most surprising about this artifact is its name. Who knew Lord of the Rings was popular among stalkers? Okay, let's see if I can make any of the others. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I can make Sauron's Eye. And I have no idea what it does. Like, shouldn't it say the stats over here on the right? But it doesn't. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I need to drag the stuff in here. To... Yeah, okay, hold on. So, uh, one droplet. Wait, how? Do I, I, I can't drag it? I thought I'd like drag it up here or something. Do I double click it? Use recipe? Okay. Oh, this... Okay, yeah, so you have to use a recipe. It puts all the stuff in there, then you see what it does. Uh, let's see. It massively reduces my hunger, which is... Interesting, but completely pointless. Reduces radiation, and it gives me more health. That is actually quite a health bonus. But... I don't feel like running out of health is a huge deal. And it is going to eat up one of my flashes. And the flash... Is used to increase my endurance. Which is something that I value very, very highly. So I don't want to do that. Gotta keep collecting artifacts and buy more recipes. Just shovel these things back where they came from. Okay, I think that's it. Let's put this thing back in the car too. Don't need to carry it around with me. I also don't need this many medkits. I'll leave the army ones here because the scientific ones can cure radiation. Good amount of bandages. I actually should keep a water and food with me. Okay, good to go. You know, I think it actually might be faster to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I am horribly bleeding. I think it might actually be faster to sprint when you're on this sort of terrain. Because this thing does not go very fast off-road. So for short distance stuff like this, I think I'm just going to leave the vehicle.
Watch, the scientist dude is probably gonna give me like 10 bucks. Come here. Here for the job. Yeah, 1500, bleh. I want more recipes. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, 4,000. I'm pretty much poor at this point. Let's leave it there. Here, take my hands. I, eh, I might need them. You know, I should keep monster parts. Because that one recipe did need monster parts, so... Yeah, they're not worth all that much. I might as well keep them, because I can't buy them. But they're not worth much to sell, so I, there's really no reason to, to sell them. Energy drinks. Let's buy them up. There we go. Okay, now, let's see if I can make anything. Okay, what's new? Compass? No. Nope. Already looked at it. No. 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 Bloodsucker tentacles. Okay. <laughs> Snorkfoot. So it looks like I'm missing quite a bit of artifacts and also just quite a bit of monster parts, too. Okay, so loot all monsters and keep everything. Gotcha. more ammo as well. There we go. Okay, weight's good. Food supply's good. Alright, I am good to go. Question is, what do I want to do? So I can either go to the forest or speak to Petrenko. And to get to the forest, I kind of need to go to the bar area anyway. And let's see. Would I want to drive a car through the forest? Who just messaged me? I heard when somebody... Shit, I can't read it. There we go. I heard when somebody wants to leave duty, it's like leaving some crazy cult. They smile at you, say no problem. You can go. And then they find you and make you disappear. Hey, maybe it's just a rumor to keep people from deserting. But I'm not planning to find out if it is or if it isn't. I mean, there is a road in the forest, so I could take my vehicle. But, uh, hmm. I could just go on foot. Nah, let's take the car. Might find a bunch of enemies, which means I can ferry their weapons back and forth. I think I just press the horn. Ah, I've never used the horn before! Cool. Okay. So we're going back to the dead city. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh wow, things look interesting from down here. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Uh... What the fuck have I done? Oh no. I think I'm pushing it into an anomaly. Oh, for the love of God. I really don't know if a car is worth it. I mean, God, it's so good to put weapons inside of, but when shit like this happens... 
It really doesn't seem like it's worth it. Alright, come on, get in the ditch. It's the only way you're gonna flip. Huh? Huh? <gasps> yes, yes! Okay, there we uh, uh, Okay. I can work with this. Maybe. M maybe. Come on. Come on. Okay, getting out made a move. Cool. Close the door. Or don't. That's fine. Now the fuck do I get out of this pit? It's kind of shallower here, I guess. I think this will do it. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh my god. I really don't know if it's worth it to take a car. But if you find a bunch of enemies, you really can store all the stuff. Hi, doggy. I'm eating through so much gas. Okay, is this... Okay, good. It's gonna work. Okay. Ooh, it's always an adventure with a car. Wow, it is like disturbingly bright. It's like a colorful candy land. Oh yeah. Lots of anomalies there. Let's go around. Come on. There you go. Getting terrible FPS. That's the bar, right? To radar? What? Shit, I've never been there. To swamps. Wait, what? Oh, right, army warehouse first. Gotcha. So we go straight and then we take a right. Ooh, it's active here. Let's just keep, keep, oh, what the fuck? Uh, right. I think the dog just lifted me up with its head. Let's just keep going. Too early? Too early to turn. You know, I could maybe use their tails. And it looks like there's a few bodies back here, and I think there's an enemy inside of here. I want to see what's in here. Yeah, I want to see what's in here. Because I could use some equipment to sell. In fact, there's some weapons. Sweet. Yeah, that's the building that all the enemies were attacking. It looks like they might have left their weapons behind. Okay, I'm not sure if these are those temporary friendlies that show up as red but actually are friendly. Or if they're actually going to shoot me. I guess we're about to find out. It's 
Let's leave my bedroll in there for now so I can have some more storage room. Alright. Are you guys going to shoot me? Oh man, sweet. Yeah, their bodies despawned, but all their weapons are left behind. I think they're friendly. I'm pretty sure they're friendly. Nope, nope, they're not. I saw you moving all tactical-like. Wish there's no one behind me. This place is big. Okay, there's six contacts on my map. Question is, where are they? Are they in this building or somewhere else? They certainly heard the shooting, though. No doubt about that. Let's keep collecting weapons. So many weapons. It's a shitty shotgun. Uh, actually, no, that's kind of the better shotgun. It's worth quite a bit. And a med kit and a decent pistol and some ammo for my weapon. Sweet. And I can't move. No, don't. Oh, fuck, don't put it on. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of money from this. This is a hell of a lot of weapons in one small area. It's running back and forth. Need all that ammo. Yeah, there should be enough money to pay for the rest of the recipes, I think, for the artifacts. Wait, there's another gun? Where? Oh, it's underneath him. It actually is worth a decent amount, even the shitty shotgun. I'll keep it. How much weight? Oh, I'm actually already overweight. Gotta ferry these back. Okay. Probably one more run after this. Ah, <sighs> no parts. you. But I don't see you. It's another pseudo dog. Back to AP. I think I need to go upstairs. Oh, here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what? what the hell was that?
Oh yeah, that's where I talked to you. But you got killed somehow. Huh. That looks like a pretty fine weapon. So many beautiful weapons. Hey, this looks like a land party up in here. Look at all this. Oh, is that the level editor for Stalker or something? Looks like a game script. More scripts. Anyone hiding in the toilets? No. Okay, I'm overweight. Still shows there being three contacts on my map, but they might not be in this building. Alright, I think I'm missing like one weapon, but let me see if I can pick up this. Okay, oh, no I can't. Shit. Which one is worth the least? 3,000, 3,000, 3,900, 3,900. You are worth the least. I'll leave one weapon behind. That's perfectly fine. Not too worried about it. Damn, look at this collection of guns. That is... holy shit. That's got to be like 40,000 or more worth of guns right there. That was much more lucrative than I ever thought possible. Continuing on. Right, we are taking a right? Yes, a right. The freaking car just stalled, what the hell? Oh, right. It. Oh shit. Not this thing again. It's out of gas. Hold on. This is not a good place to have your car break down. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm getting out of here. Woo! Chase cam! Looks actually pretty cool. Oh shit! Didn't see it. Fuck. Okay, it flipped. I mean, flipped completely over rather than halfway over, which would be very, very bad. Yeah, I need to buy some more gas, too, because I'm burning through a lot of it. Whoa! Son of a bitch! I wondered what those things did. Now I know. They explode cars. You fucking... Wow. 
Wow. Wow! They explode cars, but they only barely hurt me. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Thankfully, there was an autosave. I never even thought to, to look out for those things. Where exactly was it? Oh shit, it's right there. Oh god, I'm gonna hit it again, I think. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Somehow. Even though it, like, pierced the hood. Maybe I should put the advanced detector on. It might have some more range to detect those. But I really don't like the noises that thing makes. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on the road now. That makes off-road even more dangerous, because at any point you might explode from one of those things. <laughs> this thing is so squirrely. Oh god. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so I think the military are attacking, right? Or they're about to attack? I actually do want to kill them. Because they might drop parts that I need. Wait, ammo? There we go. There we go. A doggy tail. Three of them. Sweet. Go. Okay, I'm going to go speak with Petrenko, figure out what's going on, and ferry the weapons over to sell in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.